Previously on OMG, we bought a house. Are we gonna install this right now? Yeah. You guys ever wonder what the inside of Kate's brain looks like? <laughs> Something like that. Excuse me. And today on OMG, we bought a house. I'm about to break the news to Joey. What does that mean? I don't know if I'm ready to even start this one. <gasps> Today's video would not be possible without the help of our sponsor, Squarespace. So this one will just have dripping down. This one will have up here. Yep. Moon decorated this whole tree himself. It looks his, beautiful. His big project. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays! Yee! I'm recycling our decorations from two years ago because I feel like it's a more eco-friendly thing to do, slash. <laughs> I didn't get any other new decorations. Hey, what happened to my tree decorator? Don't hit the pool, Ben. Although we want to knock it down anyways. I can knock down the pool. No, ben. don't, no. I'm sorry I gave you that idea. No, don't knock it down, please. No, don't knock it down. No! <laughs> Stop! Well, as you can see, I've lost my tree helpers, but that's okay. I'm just gonna finally finish this tree because honestly, Moon's been decorating this tree for a week now. Like we've had the ladder here. He's been adding the ornaments as we go. So I'm just gonna finish it. Obviously we've been so busy. The comments on our last video were just like, Mwah! we love you guys so much. The support that you guys have given us on like sharing our products. I know Joey talked about like, you know, making sure that we don't sound like so pitchy. And so many of you were like, uh, it would be weird if you didn't talk about your products. and. Honestly, like it's been just so amazing sharing that journey with you guys and you're the reason why we even have a product line, have a furniture line, have wallpaper, all that stuff. And so, you know, you're such a crucial part of like the design process and everything and we're just so committed to making the best possible stuff for you guys. So thank you for just sharing the love with us, but we're exhausted. I'm so ready for like this little uh, holiday break. I love like the kind of like lull before the new year kind of like helps you just like meditate on everything, reset. Speaking of reset, I have a really fun video planned to come out like basically new year. Super, super, super new in the new year. All about like jumpstarting our creativity. I think it's gonna be like so key for a lot of you guys that, you know, just wanna make 2024 your most creative year yet. Like, why not? Like, let's just dive in, right? No judgment, no holding ourselves back. 2024 is going to be our most creative year, because why not? Also, another project that we're working on that you guys have seen a little snippet of, we went over to Morgan, you know, Morgan, she works with us. She lives with three other girls. Her kitchen, living room area really needs help, but guys, they are like college students on a very strict budget. And they have like no furniture. I mean, that sofa's way too small for them. You might have to give them a Mr. Kate sofa, but also stay on budget. How much money are you willing to put into this? Go. A hundred dollars. One hundred. Like 80. I was about to say 80. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So that's gonna be coming at you in the new year. Lots of fun projects. So get excited for 2024. And right now, this video, I'm about to go design our primary bedroom. I have like a big plan for it, okay? See you in the studio. <laughs> Can't wait to renovate. There's no time to go on dates. How will it turn out? OMG, we, we bought a house. On the island? Wait, what? It's our dream home. Hopefully. Mom, show me that door. Coming. All right, so you guys have been on this journey with us as we pulled together our back house, but this house is really important because not only is it part of our whole dream house plan for this whole property that we've invested so much time and money into. <laughs> but it's also where we're going to move into and actually live for however many months it takes us to do the front house, which is like the big, big project. So remember what this room used to look like, okay? We had a lot of windows. We had a disgusting carpet. <laughs> It was all just disgusting. Speaking of disgusting, that bathroom was Cockroachville. Look at Ew! that. Ew! <laughs> so we took that ugly 
cockroach infested room and created a dream island suite. So we added not only a sliding glass door, but also built out a lanai with a custom coral rock wall. So I'm so thrilled with how all the permanent stuff has now come to fruition, but now it is time to implement and design. So I love doing this. Like if you have some textures or things to kind of just like feel out your design, obviously I'm big on mood boards and doing stuff online as of two, but to actually like look and feel what you're gonna put into the room can really help, especially if you're playing with textures and colors, which we are. So this gorgeous handmade wool rug, I love this slightly irregular grid pattern that's happening on it and this mossy green. And then for the walls, I wanna do our Mr. Kate Lime Wash Wallpaper. This is peel and stick lime wash. This is our Potter's Clay Peach color. It's really almost like neutral in a lot of ways. And then you can see all this texture. And now let's bring in some other elements so you guys can kind of see. I'm just gonna be pulling stuff from like our cabinet. This is kind of the brass tone of the lights, the wall sconces that we've got going on here, kind of like a on lacquered brass. This is sort of the tone of the ceiling fan, so we can bring in like a little bit of wood tone. These coasters can kind of represent like the coral rock color, the gray stone color that we've got going on in the bathroom. Trade. Represent black. This can be kind of representative of the driftwood shelf that we have Kiyoki making for us. So maybe playing with some of these shades in the bedding, like either like this family or this family. The one thing that I have not broken the news to Joey about, we don't have any molding going on on top of the walls, like no crown molding or anything. And so I think that it's going to look best if we also do this on the ceiling. So cover all the walls and the ceiling in peachy pink lime wash. You think you'll be on board? It's gonna be a lot of rolls. <laughs> Thankfully, I know the girl who makes it. All right guys, so this is kind of a funny project. So we did all this renovation and in the process of the renovating, this palm tree really has just sort of like flourished. But the problem is it's covering our brand new mirror into our living room. These are areca palms. We have them all over the property. They grow really easily and really fast. Originally, we were talking about trying to like dig it out of the ground and move it over. It's really expensive to move it. And Moon's school needed areca palm leaves, which is exactly what that is. So I'm gonna take this down. They'll use it at the school we'll be able to see through our window, and then we're gonna plant something new in between the windows. Gardener Joey here. This is what it's turned into. What are you doing in the palm frond pool? Hey everyone, it's time to quickly tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop for building your online presence, from registering your domain name to quickly and easily making your own website, and it all requires very little skill. With Fluid Engine, a next generation website design system from Squarespace, you can easily drag and drop elements into your site, and the magical programming happens in the back end, so you really don't have to have any kind of website programming skills to get a professional looking site. If you are like us and have products to sell, you can use Squarespace to launch your e-commerce dreams, whether it's physical, digital, or service product. And for all of you creative weirdos out there with unique talents, why not make a course for people to use? I love this idea. Squarespace has the tools you need to create and sell your own online course. Create engaging content your audience will love, then simply add a paywall and set the price. You can charge a one-time fee or sell subscriptions. Turn your creativity into income with Squarespace courses. 
And of course, we have a special discount for all of you watching. You can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Mr. Kate, and you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you so much, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so Joey's here with me. You mm -hmm. guys already know, because I went over this before, my plan for in that bedroom, but I'm about to break the news to Joey. What does that mean? Joey, two rules. That, that means paint or wallpaper, one of the two. This light fixture was one of... Love that light fixture. It's so cool. Handmade from Etsy, of course. You guys know I love getting home handmade stuff from Etsy. And that color. What color is that, Joey? What color does that remind you of? Uh, like a plant pot? Yeah, like a potter's clay. A uh, potter's clay lime wash? Is that wallpaper? The Potter's Clay Lime Wash wallpaper in here. Yeah, of course. Like yeah. all the walls, but also the ceiling. All. The ceiling? Four, four, four walls. Five surfaces. Five surfaces. Of wallpaper. <laughs> Skip the floor. <laughs> I feel like with the lime wash vibe, like you want that kind of like all encompassing sort of like. That's gonna really like test how it looks because it's like you're gonna a open lot the door it. it's just gonna be all lime wash i know but it's gonna look so good and with the green like rug and stuff oh oh and these door handles you guys know we love to mix our metals these are unlockered brass we've got a little modern we've got a little ooh asmr yes Bounces right back at you. Boing! So, yeah, if you could do that, that would be great. All the walls and the ceiling. You're so fast at it now. I'm very excited to see how it looks because we haven't actually installed it in any of our rooms yet. I know. We're committing to like the utmost in here. Whew. I don't know if I'm ready to even start this one. This is literally the first time we're putting this on a wall. Joey, two rows! I'm getting good at these. Let's do it, shall we? vases with moon's class where the kids are going to all embed like little found treasures. I was just gonna ask, do we really need to put the lime wash on the ceiling? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's just gonna complete like the look. This is our new, newest bed. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you guys, are you ready for the name of this bed? The Rock Sand Bed. Ooh, beautiful. Look at your kitty. bed this morning because Winston has been sleeping in it all morning in his sweater. Are you sleeping in? He says shush. <laughs> Look at these two. I came in here to make the bed 
Look who's still on her pillow. This is her pillow. See how much room she takes up? She has just as much room as I do. And we see. If you guys have been watching our videos for a while, you guys remember our fur babies. Probably the reason why Joey and I took so long to have an actual baby is because we were just so in love with our two fur babies. We made a video about this fireplace and mm -hmm. you guys sold it out. Yeah, I don't this know if that's the terminology. Out. The Winston fireplace sold out so fast, which was thrilling and amazing. We are making more of them. They're definitely back in stock before the new year. Back in stock before the new year, perfect for your cozy time. A lot of people commented who got this, that they were so happy that we did the like multiple options for the mantle. So you can either mount it like more flush to the wall or give yourself a little bit more space depending yeah. on the depth of your baseboard. So it just makes it so you can really, as you see, like put it up against the wall, which gives it that much more of that like built in. I mean, also it's, just, it's so cool that you can just like, Get like that, get a fireplace in, in a box in your room. Like that is, this is elevating, especially how it's like sort of split between the two doorways. It looks like you built the house with a fireplace right there. Here's the big question, and I'm so glad you guys are here because I love asking for your feedback. So this Roxanne bed comes in this, what we call the parchment color. It's like not exactly a white. It's like a beautiful sort of taupey color, but we also have it in black. It's the same color caning. I was actually thinking about doing the black one in here in a king size. This is a queen size in the parchment, which we just had and set up in one of the other rooms. We just wanted to see what it looks like in here. The parchment is so gorgeous. It's so beautiful against this like peachy wallpaper. You remember my mood board from before, right? The green with the peach. Should we do a black framed bed and then maybe do like greenish bedding or should we go like lighter kind of more a little almost like more monochromatic and do the parchment bed with like lighter creamier bedding because i feel like if we go dark with the bed frame we should justify it with like a you know co more colorful bedding if we go like lighter then we go a little more dreamy like light with it maybe we'll give this one away here. and get a king in whatever color you give start. away <laughs> does someone want to win a roxanne cane bed yes what are the rules to enter uh, um, share <laughs> we're gonna put we're the gonna final the rules, rules in the, the description, description below if you want to win a mr kate roxanne king bed in either parchment or black now you can just follow the rules and that are in the description below. All right, so but I'm gonna keep wallpaper in the ceiling. Yes, wallpaper in the ceiling for sure, a hundred. Oh, what a feeling! Or wallpaper in the ceiling. Look at this runner. <laughs> it needs to be vacuumed. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, so we got the wallpaper on all the walls. Now we're gonna put it on the ceiling. We've done ceilings with the peel stick wallpaper before. It's actually pretty easy, but yeah, I mean, I've never done a room where the walls and the ceiling are all covered in the same wallpaper. But anyways, I'm gonna trim off my excess. I'm gonna start putting it on the ceiling. Let's do it. Check in with Kiyoki. He's here with the finished shelf. I really hope it's matte finish. Nice it's, and sealed. It's wrapped up in a little blankie. Okay, okay. How's it look? Oh wow, it's very sealed. But yeah, it's matte. It's it's like a matte finish, but cool. It's okay, so it's got like it's a really thick. I'm gonna close this up. He's like riveted out the bottom, so it's gonna like sit on the shelf. Up. All right, let's go tell them where we want it. Okay, so we're talking height here. Where does that fall with the plumbing? The plumbing goes like under, let's see, 17. Yeah, so you have like a room for like a little storage under the plumbing and then a bigger something right there. Okay. Yeah, so let's do 13 top. Okay, <laughs> okay cool. He says, cross my fingers that I can get it in. <laughs> well, yeah. Without scratching the walls, basically.
we're installing this little cleat in the back and then the wood piece is actually gonna like slide it on top of it. That way it's gonna be a floating shelf on all three sides. Yeah, 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 give me a hand. Okay. Close your eyes. I'm closing them. <laughs> Did you do the whole ceiling? I saw the walls already. Yeah. This is like a ceiling surprise. Okay, ready? So I guess I should look up. Okay, okay. remember what- I'm nervous! Remember what the, the room looked like when we first bought this place. Oh my gosh, ew, cockroaches. Disgusting stain carpet, gross. Are you ready to see lime wash all over? Yes. On the count of three. I think so. One, two, three. Ah, I didn't do it. Wait, here you go. Take two, take two. What? Aren't they glued? I'm scared. You made me nervous. One, two, okay. three. Just the walls. <laughs> it looks like lime wash. I'm so glad we did the ceiling. Look how good the fan looks against it. Oh my gosh, the greenery of the plants looks so good with it. Let's bring in the rug. Let's rug cut on. Look at this lime washy ceiling. Okay. Go. window pane grid yeah. pattern. All right, we gotta go to a holiday party. We are going to finish decorating this room. This we week. have to finish decorating this room because we have- Guests coming. Guests coming, our friends from LA. And my parents are coming too, so yeah. There's gonna be yeah, fun. and oh my gosh, our friends from LA are leaving the same day your parents are coming. We're gonna have to like, wash the sheets really fast. <laughs> <laughs> but that's gonna be so exciting. I'm so excited to have people like, in this space and then we're gonna move in here eventually weigh in what color you think for the bed black or parchment also don't forget we're gonna give one of those beds away so oh yeah details in the description enter the giveaway and tell us what color you think we should do. oh my gosh i love this rug oh wait you wanted a massage okay Right. This is a neck massage for Joey who put all the wallpaper on the ceiling. Alright, <laughs> thanks guys. Joey. See you on the next Thanks one. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh. oh.